friends! My name is Harley and this is Dobby and today we're going to be reading a really fun story about a boy named Chris who goes to a pet shop. And the book is called Curious Chris Why No Flamingos, written by Cindy B. Witty. Okay, let's get right into it! Curious Chris Why No Flamingos, written by Cindy B. Witty. There once was a boy named Chris. He was lanky with wavy brown hair and wore thick glasses that hid his rich brown eyes. He was very curious and he asked a lot of questions. Why is the sky blue? Why doesn't the sun smoke if it's so hot? Why can't it rain cotton candy if clouds look like cotton candy? These questions got to be too much for his parents and the questions seemed to swirl around their heads all day. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Whoa, Chris, that's a lot to ask at one time, said his dad. Our heads are spinning with all these questions, complained his mom. How can we answer them all? Wowzers. Chris's parents thought it'd be a good idea to give him a pet. Giving Chris a pet would make him too busy to ask so many questions his mom decided. The next afternoon, Chris's dad said, we think you're old enough for a pet. His mother added, because you take good care of the guinea pig at school, we think it might be time for you to have a pet of your own. Chris's head lifted quickly as if he were gonna ask a question, but he didn't. His dad asked, any questions about what kind of pet to get? Chris smiled, but he was silent. No questions for his parents. His parents were confused. How could he have no questions? Their heads swiveled. What? Chris didn't have any questions about a pet because he knew what he wanted. He had wanted this pet for a long, long time. The pet he wanted could stand on one leg like the yoga tree pose. It loved to eat shrimp, which was Chris's favorite food. And this pet was Chris's favorite color, pink. Chris wanted a Falingmo. Chris always dreamed of having a Falingmo. He'd swim with his pet and he'd dress in pink every day and he'd eat lots and lots of shrimp. That night, Chris tossed and turned in bed. He couldn't wait to go to the local pet shelter to get his very own Falingmo. As the sun rose, Chris charged out of bed. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Finally, Chris and his parents walked into the Pets for You shelter, and Chris swayed back and forth, excitedly waiting. Mr. Rogers, the coordinator of the shelter, greeted them. Welcome! How can we help you today? When can I take my Falingmo home? Chris blurted out. How many do you have? Do you have gray ones or pink ones? How much shrimp do they eat in a day? Mr. Rogers and Chris's parents were surprised, astonished even. Flamingos? They all asked together. Do you mean flamingos? Mr. Rogers questioned. We don't have flamingos at this shelter. They live in the wild orange zoos. Why don't you have a flamingo for me? Chris shouted. I want one. Mom, Dad, you said I could have a pet. Boo hoo hoo. Mr. Rogers saw how sad and droopy Chris was. Chris, we may not have flamingos but we do have several cats and dogs to choose from, and I know we can find the perfect pet for you. With his head down, Chris reluctantly held his parents' hands and slowly walked through the shelter. Chris saw orange, black, and striped gray cats staring back at him through cages. Meow, meow, meow. A small, scruffy, black and tan dog bounced and yapped around his cage. Boing, boing, boing. A large, curly, black-haired dog woof-woofed at Chris. Chris jumped back. He wasn't sure he could find a friend. Nothing compared to his Falingmo. Just as Chris was ready to leave, he saw a dog sitting in a cage slumped in the corner. The dog's droopy eyes looked up at him. Chris stared into the sandy color lab's eyes. I want to meet him, Chris said. I want to sit with that dog with the white feet. Mr. Rogers took Chris and the sandy-colored dog to visit in a meeting area. His name is Angel, said Mr. Rogers. Angel sat near Chris and put his head on his leg. Chris patted Angel's head. Hmm, 
Angel isn't pink, but he has a pretty sandy color. I like building sandcastles. Mr. Rogers gave a toy filled with Angel's favorite peanut butter treat to Chris so he could throw it to Angel. Angel chased after the toy. Peanut butter is my second favorite food, thought Chris. Angel zoomed around the room. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Angel dove down towards the floor with his head low and his tail up in a true downward dog yoga pose. Chris cheered. Look, Mom. Look, Dad. Angel knows yoga just like a falingmo. Chris took a deep breath. He's my dog for sure. Chris and Angel became close friends. Chris was still curious and still had lots of questions, but now they were all for Angel. Do you want to play fetch? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want a treat? Angel always answered with a bark, bark, bark and a wag, wag, wag of his tail. That means yes, 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 Chris chanted to his parents. The end. Reasons why adopting a pet is better. Adopting saves an animal's life and possibly the family members who adopt. The adopted pet is often house trained. Animals in shelters are vaccinated, which is less money for the owner in the long run. The family gains a loving additional member. And when a family decides to adopt a pet, they are supporting an important charity and making room for other animals. Wasn't that a great story, Doppy? We loved that story, and we hope you loved it too. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to never miss a new read-aloud story. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye!